Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how you can upload your Visual Studio programs or projects into a GitHub. Of course, you're going to have to have a GitHub account to actually do all this. Uh, please set it up before you do anything and make sure you remember your password and your username. So once that is done, right, uh, let's launch our Visual Studio here. And then just create a simple uh, blank project in a directory. Uh, let's say, sure, Xamarin apps here, or it can be Windows uh, form, could be anything, right? Uh, this is a directory I want to install it to and let's keep the project name as default as app1 or whatever you like again this is a this is an Android app so or rather the iOS and Android app, uh, app projects that I'm creating and we're gonna back this up into our github repository so I'm gonna minimize this here just to uh, make things a bit easier on the eyes there we go okay so if you run this app, it runs, and let's say this is your program and you want to put it into your GitHub, the first thing you have to do is right click on solutions and then go to create Git repository. Once you do that, this is your local path that you have here. So if I were to take out my file explorer, this is where the file is, that's what it's saying. And this is the template, just keep it default. This is a GitHub repository, this is where uh, the password that I was talking about comes into play. So I already have a account set up in the Visual Studio, that's why it remembers. But if you don't, if you click on uh, put a GitHub, GitHub account, what happens is that uh, they will ask you to log in. Once you log in, you should see like that success, your authorized, authorization was success. You'll see all this uh, web page come up, right? So you have to log in first before you can link your Visual Studio to GitHub. So once that's done, you give a name to your repository. When you change this, what it affects is this guy here. You'll get a different kind of name, right? You can call whatever name you like. Let's just to keep it unique, let's call it the uh, uh, test tour. Like that, something like that. And you can give some description, right? Testing for demo, right? Like that, something like that. Doesn't really matter. So. Okay, and then the last thing you want to keep an eye on is this one here. If you put it as private, no one else in the internet can see it. Uh, you get a request uh, for someone to access your repository, but you have the right to say yay or nay. But if you remove this, everybody in the World Wide Web can actually look at your uh, programs and whatnot. So this is important here. So once this is done, you can click on create and push. And then that, depending on the size of your, of your project, uh, the time it takes might be long longer than expected also depends on the internet too right so uh, so right now you can see that uh, they say that the github push is running on the background so if you look at your github now uh, currently I had only five my sixth repository will be coming here shortly can I hit refresh here to refresh you see number six has came in here right you might not see it here because they only show the first four you click on repository to see all the repository you can see the new repository was just created right so so if you go in here you can see all your projects have been uploaded to your github account if this tutorial was helpful please like and subscribe other than that you have a good day bye now